Are you familiar with the term entrepreneur or are you familiar with the term entrepreneurship? Well, if I have to guess what is your answer, then I would guess yes. Because in India, entrepreneurship and entrepreneurs are increasing with big numbers on a daily basis. Hi, my name is Yoshu Pradhan and you are watching me on Freedom Business English channel. In this video, we will be discussing what are the different types of entrepreneurs. Now, you must be thinking that we would segregate entrepreneurs on the basis of the work they do, on the basis of the industry they work in. No, we are going to segregate them on the basis of their attitude, on the basis of their work approach and on the basis of that, we are going to segregate them and name them. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first entrepreneur type is innovative entrepreneur. Now, as the name suggests, innovative means innovation, creativity, bringing something new to the table and bringing something different, something out of the box. That is what innovation is for you. And an innovative entrepreneur is the same, brings in a new product or a new service in a different style, or he brings an existing product or service in a different and a new style. An innovative entrepreneur entrepreneur loves to take risks because in entrepreneurship, in business, as they say, the higher the risk, the higher the profits, the more risk you will take, the more profits you could earn. Yes, there is also this percentage that you could incur heavy losses as well, but that would segregate an entrepreneur from a person who is employed working in a company because the difference is that an entrepreneur and a businessman takes a lot of risks and loves to take risks to incur heavy profits. So an innovative entrepreneur is very aggressive in nature, very pumped and very energetic to bring in new technologies, to bring in new things to his business and innovate, create new ideas. Basically, we could say that this entrepreneur is very creative and very flexible. We could take an example of Apple phones. Like in Apple phones, there are so many things that were invented first, like the Siri or the AirPods. And then there were many more companies that copied paid and adopted the style of Apple. Let's move on to our second type of entrepreneur. The second type of entrepreneur is imitative entrepreneur. So what is an imitative entrepreneur? An imitative entrepreneur is someone who adopts or copies the style of an innovative entrepreneur. Yes. So let's say that an innovative entrepreneur has created a new product or a new service or style. So an imitative entrepreneur will see that the idea is really nice and he will Will take the idea and adopt it as a business, as a new sector. An imitative entrepreneur would be found in countries that are not so developed, whereas an innovative entrepreneur is found in a country that is economically very well developed. An imitative entrepreneur is very adjusting and very flexible and his approach to business is very nice and very adaptive. For an imitative entrepreneur, we can take an example of Vivo phones. Like as I told you, an innovative entrepreneur, an innovative idea is something like Apple who introduced Siri, but then it was copied by Vivo and Oppo style phones. They copied the style of phones and they adopted Apple's style. So Vivo could be considered as an imitative entrepreneur style. Let's move on to our third type of entrepreneur and that is the Fabian entrepreneur. Well, a Fabian entrepreneur is very different from an innovative or an imitative entrepreneur. A Fabian entrepreneur is very shy and lazy. A Fabian entrepreneur does not like to take risks and is very rigid with his company's formulations and fundamentals that have been set from way before. It is more likely that they follow the footsteps of their family, their family business. So that is what a Fabian entrepreneur is. You could also call them the second generation entrepreneur. Here, they don't like to take risks as I told you, they don't like to change their methods of business. But if they are incurring heavy losses, they might change their methods a little. So this was Fabian Entrepreneur for you guys. Let's move on to our fourth and the last type of entrepreneur. Now, this entrepreneur is called the Drone Entrepreneur. A Drone Entrepreneur is very similar to a Fabian Entrepreneur. A Drone Entrepreneur also do not like to take risks and do not like to change the methods, the fundamentals that they have been following since the past years. 
they refuse to copy or use the opportunity that they get in the market and they refuse to adapt to new things that are coming into the market. We could say that they have a very conventional approach in their business. We could also say that they resist changes no matter how many loss they suffer or incur, they always stick to their old methods that they have formed since years. So I have told you about the top four type of entrepreneurs. Let's just summarize it into a nutshell. So the first entrepreneur was the innovative entrepreneur. This entrepreneur is the best entrepreneur that is out there. And the best entrepreneur that is called is the innovative entrepreneur. This entrepreneur designs a new product or a new service, brings something new to the table, something fresh to the table that everybody gets mesmerized with. This entrepreneur is very aggressive in nature and loves to take risk. As far as our second entrepreneur is imitative entrepreneur, an imitative entrepreneur is also aggressive, likes to take risks, but also likes to play safe. So if somebody has invented something and if it's going really well, the response is coming very well. So this imitative entrepreneur would copy and would adapt the style of this innovative entrepreneur, would take the idea and invent something of its own. Where innovative entrepreneur loves to take risk, imitative entrepreneurs love to play it safe because they have taken an idea, a smart idea from someone else that has already been tested in the market and then the results are out and that's how an imitative entrepreneur conquers. As I told you, the third type of entrepreneur was Fabian entrepreneur. A Fabian entrepreneur is very different from an imitative and innovative entrepreneur. He's very lazy and very rigid, does not like to change the rules of the game, game of the business. He likes to stick to one method that he has been following. He follows the footstep of his family and it's also called the second generation entrepreneur. And the last entrepreneur type is the drone entrepreneur that is very familiar to the Fabian entrepreneur. He is also very lazy, does not like to change the methods of the business. He is not very adaptive to new methods and if at all they incur heavy losses, then they might change their methods, but they like to stick to their traditional forms. So these were the top four type of entrepreneurs that are out there in the market. Now, if you are an entrepreneur, if you are a businessman, so after watching this video, what do you think that what type of entrepreneur you are? Well, let me tell you the top two entrepreneur type is the innovative entrepreneur and the imitative entrepreneur. So if you are one of them, then kudos to you. But if you are a drone or a Fabian entrepreneur, you could also become an innovative or an imitative entrepreneur. So let me know in the comment section below that what type of entrepreneur are you and if you are ready to start your business, you're ready to start your entrepreneurship journey, what do you think that what type of entrepreneur would you be? Let us know in the comment section below. If you found this video informational and if you like this video, do not forget to like, comment and please do subscribe to our channel. Also, do not forget to download our Freedom app. This app is an educational app where you can learn about personal finance, business, farming. You can get access to unlimited courses and learn a lot. If you want to start your own business, could be any sort of a business or if you want to learn new farming techniques or about new farming farming business that also you can learn and on top of it you can get a lot of tips how can you save money and about personal finance. Well that is it for this video. See you next time.